Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Uh, in this tutorial, we want to continue with our topic, linear equation, where we are taking the linear inequality as a continuation of that topic. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing, like and share. Now, we want to get a little introduction into linear inequality. It's more or less like linear equation. The solving, the principles, all the steps we follow under linear equations will come to play. The only difference is the use of the symbol equal sign and the inequality symbols. So we are saying that an inequality is a mathematical statement formed by relating two expressions to each other by the use of any of these following sign or symbols. So in the linear equation, we make use of equal sign. We compare two expressions using the equal sign. So here we will be using less than. We know less than is using your left. If you make these two uh, fingers up, you are seeing the less than sign. If you make this, you are seeing the greater than. So these two are the actual or complete restriction. If you are less than five years, you are less than five years. You are more than five years, you are more than five years. That is a restriction. But the use of less than or equals to, this is like a slack uh, restriction. It is not completely uh, restricted. So if we are less than five years or equals to five years, it means either you are five years or you are less than that. Then this is also greater than or equals to. So it's also having some slack in it, as in greater than. You can spend five CD in a day. That is what you can spend more than or equals to five CDs in a day. Meaning you can spend five CDs or above. So these are the mathematical symbols that we will be using in place of the equal sign. All right, so now we know that we will not be using the equal sign, we'll be using this. Let's see how these symbols also mean in uh, sentence form. You know, they will also, we will also develop word problem for inequalities. And these symbols, how will they be carved or coined in a sentence form? We know under inequal, uh, linear equation, we know that if is is mentioned in a sentence, is sum up to. The result is, we know it always referred to what? Equal sign. So what will these symbols or signs also refer to? The English sentence, we see X here is standing for a variable. So we can say 5 is at least 9. Don't forget we are only using 5 to replace the X. The X is any variable. So X is at least 9. So it means that this, your x is not equal to 9, but it at least, the least among the values that x can get is what? 9. So if they say least is 9, could it be that 10 will also be a value of x? Could it be 15 will be a value of x? Yes. You can see that 9 will be included. Because 9 is at least I can get. So 100 and so on and so forth. So x will be... Mean x is more or equals to 9. We can get more than 15 as we have mentioned. So we can see the sign greater than or equals to will be used when we hear the word at least in a sentence, a word equation. Then at here, x is at most 9. The most we can get. In this class, we can say that the ages of people in this class is at most 12. Meaning there is nobody in that class who will be more than 12 years. So we can have 2 years, 3 years, 4 years, 5 years, up to what? Now at most the highest should be what? 9. So it means your x will be less than or equals to 9. It will be less than 9 and it could also be up to what? 9. So 9 and below will give you that. Then here we are saying x is between uh, 3 and 8. Meaning... 4, 5, 6, 7. So we are going to say that 3 is less than, but 3 is less than 4. The values of x 
and x is also less than what? 8. So this is what you will get as inequality. If a variable is less than or is placed between two numbers. So 3 is less than x, x is less than what? 8. So you can mention your values as 4, 5, 6, 7 as the values in there. So here, if we are saying x is no more than 10, because it's not more than 10. x is not more than 10. It means it is either equal to the 10 or less than. Right? We can take it to be x will be less or equals what? 10. We can see this and these expressions are giving us the same sign. So you have to listen to the statement before you can apply them in. So here we can also say x is no less than 10. Not less than 10. If x is not less than 10, it means it could be 10. It could be more than 10. So x will be what? More or equal to 10. So this is the English statement you hear in uh, an equation or mathematical statement that can be translated in this form. The solving are the same. So in solving linear inequality, we know our equation is just represented. The A represents the left-hand side of the inequality. The B also represents the right-hand side of the inequality. So we are saying that if A is less than B, in other words, if A is more than B or less or equals to any of the inequality, then that simply means that if I have A plus C, it will still be less than B plus C. Meaning, whatever I add to the left side of the inequality, I, if I add the same thing to the right hand side, it doesn't change the inequality, it doesn't change the equation. As in, if you have 2x plus 3 less than what? 7. If this equation is given to you and you want to solve it, whatever you do to the left side, you can do to the right hand side. So what do I do? I can subtract 3 from here and 3 from there. That gives me 2x less than 7 minus what? 3. So 2x less than what? 4. This expression 2x less than 4 is the same as what? 2x plus 3 less than what? 7. If you have to solve that value. That's what it means. And the same thing means that if I have a minus c, it will still be less than what? b minus what? c. As you can see in this case, if this were to be 2x minus 3 less than what? 7. So it means I'm going to add 3 to both sides. That will be 2x less than 7 plus what? 3. And that will give us 2x less than what? 10. What happened is that when you add 3 to negative 3, you get 0. That's why the left is only 2x. So whatever happened in linear equations, the same approach is used in the inequality. Then similarly, if we have this expression, we can also take this as a times c to be the same as b times what? C. But in this case, we are using positive value of the value, uh, the C. We are using positive value of C, not the negative value. We know negative values can also be used to multiply, and positive values can also be multiplied. So if A is less than B, then it means that AC will be the same as BC when B and C are the same. Like taking this equation, for example, if you have this, if you want to multiply both sides, let me just make this one to be over what? 3. This is the equation I want to solve. You see that there's a fraction. So if I multiply here by 3 to cancel it, I must multiply here also by 3. So it become it to be 2. So 
So today will cancel to give you 2x less than what? 12. That's what I mean by when you multiply this side by a number, the same numbers will be used to multiply what? The right hand side. Alright. Then, we can also do division. Going to be the same as in A divided by C to be the same as what? B divided by what? C. We can see that from here. If I want the x alone, I must divide through by what? The coefficient 2. So if I divide here by 2, I divide by 2. So your x will be less than what? 5. So you can see that when you multiply, left, the right must also multiply by the same figure. If positive, this is what you will get. But in the case of a negative number, as still the same way, if I have uh, A, C, A, C, less than B, C, where in this case, we have negative values of our C, as in having negative 2x over 3, less than what? 4. Well, let me just say this is negative 3. And I want to multiply both sides. So I'm going to multiply here by negative, here by negative. Now before we do that, let's take a number. 10 is less than what? 14. I believe that is true statement. That 10 is less than 14. So if I divide this by any number, and divide here by any, the same number, I should get the same answer as we are explaining going. Because if I divide here by 2, I should be having 5 is less than what? 7. Which is still a true statement. 5 is less than 7. But if in this case I divide by negative, dividing this by negative will mean that I have what? Negative 2. Let me use negative 2 to divide. It means I'll be having what? Negative 5. Let me still bring in the sign. Dividing 14 by negative 2 gives you negative 1, 7. And the statement, negative 5 is less than negative 7. I believe that will not sound well with the E. That negative 5 is not less than negative 7. Negative 7 is bigger. It's less than what? Uh, negative 5. So this expression should rather be written as Negative 5 is greater than what? Negative 7. So you can see that for me to say the statement to be true, the sign less than must be changed to what? Greater than. So anytime you are multiplying an inequality by a negative value, the sign must what? Change. So if I'm going to multiply here by negative 3, by negative 3, this will cancel to give me 2x greater than 1, negative 12. I will change the sign to negative, uh, the sign as well. The signs of the inequality will change. So re remember, if you are multiplying by a negative, the inequality changes. But if you are multiplying by a positive value, the inequality remains the same. And the same can be uh, explained on division. A over C less than B over C, where we have negative values of C. So if you have negative values of C, in this expression, let's just say this is negative 2x less than what? 12. You want to collect the coefficient which is negative 2 from both sides, you have to divide by that negative 2. So here will be negative 2, negative 2. For that cancellation, negative, negative will cancel. To be left with x, we more than what? Negative 6. The moment the division is done by a negative value, the sense of the inequality changes. So this is the only difference between linear equation and linear inequality. All the principles you learn in linear equation, when you involve fraction, decimal, all of them will also be applied. But the only difference 
is a step three. When you are multiplying by a negative value, the inequality changes. Divided by a negative value, the inequality changes. I believe with all these concepts that I've been explained, you could be able to solve questions on inequality. If you pick any question under linear equation, change it to inequality, you should be able to solve it. Our next episode, we will take questions. The questions that we are going to delve into by following the principles we've learned under this uh, tutorial. I thank you so much for watching. Follow me for more videos of this kind. Share with your friends or learning mates and leave a comment for us to get interactive. Subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.